but who is missing her son will mark on Wednesday six years of arbitrary detention for Jack Letts, an individual who went to Syria in 2014 out of his love for his fellow Muslims. He wanted to help the victims of the Assad regime. He stood against ISIS. He was jailed by ISIS three times, and it was when he was escaping ISIS that he was captured by Kurdish forces. The Canadian government has fought against Jack coming home for six years. That is Islamophobia. And I just want to close tonight by saying, you were talking about those in the camps, Monia. Uh, on Eid, an eight-year-old Iraqi boy in the Al-Hol prison camp was murdered when he went to the fence to pick a flower for his mother. That we are in a situation where children who are attracted by beauty and want to share that beauty with love in their hearts for their moms are imprisoned in northeast Syria under conditions akin to torture and your Canadian government is trying to prevent them from coming home? We have a lot of work to do to widen the circle and I've left some of those flyers on your table. Please come and see us. And Sally, can you please stand up at the table because Sally is someone who has courageously fought for nine years to bring Jack home. And hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, we will hear what happens when the Federal Court of Appeal rules on that. Either way, we have to continue pressuring the government to say, free the captives. Free the captives. Thank you.